Okay, I just come up with a hypothesis about what causes OBEs or out of body experiences. You know, the medical community says near death experiences also a form about a OBE only this close to death are caused by oxygen deprivation of the brain. They say is the brain is starved of oxygen. You see a light in the darkness. So and there are those who say who they who documented NDEs when the brain was not oxygen deprived. My understanding is there's more than one cause of NDEs and OBEs. There's not just one cause. But we're 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 gonna deal with the cause of oxygen deprivation that causes out of the body experiences. It's an industry. It, it, it's an industry. And it's interest. It's interesting. Just, just so you know, I had a stroke Thanksgiving Day. That's why I sound so fucked up. But in 1994, I was reading this book. I don't know if it was by James Monroe or it just might mention his, his name. Is He's a famous psychic who claims to have traveled multiple places in a, in out of the body experiences 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 including the other dimension di dimensions now we're not here to argue where whether the person is really going to this places to these places or creating these places that's another subject. We're just arguing what cause, causes people to do this. And in this, in this book, he says, you too can learn to astral project. Astral projection. Ast the astral projection is when you too can come out, come out of your body. And he says you lay down and you close your eyes and you imagine you're looking into the darkness of your closed eyes and you see a point above your head. And I forgot the, the next few steps, but he says when you reach a point between sleeping between sleepfulness and wakefulness I could never get this far you imagine vibrations slowly coming down into your body until you can move them up and down in your body and when you can do that you can you'll slowly start coming out of your body I never could I never could make it to that point between sleepfulness and wakefulness. But what what what, what interests me is by the the vibrations move the moving the vibrations up and down your body right before you come out of your body. I just had a revelations. A, 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 revela a revelation. Fuck. Thanksgiving Day that be became apparent to me tonight. 
When I had my stroke, right before my speech became up. No, no, no. Okay. My right arm tingled. Like pins and needles. Like, like my right arm had fell asleep for a second. Less than a second. It, enough to catch up, catch my, my attention. Chinchin. Well, I walked out to the kitchen and it took me maybe five seconds and start started asking my mom what do you think it was? And then my speech started garbling, garbling blah, 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 like that. Okay, so when the when the there's the correlation I think the the vibrations going up and down the body before you the spirit com comes out and the vibration that went up and down my no that my whole arm felt from down the, from here to there well I. Uh, and there's a few seconds between that, those vibrations in my arm, and when my brain cells died and my speech became fucked up. Okay, here's what I'm wondering. When the person is doing lying in the bed. Those 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 vibrations he feels. Oh, okay, what 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 caused the tingling a tingling in my arm? Is the oxygen def deprivation caused by the cl blood clot in my brain? To that section of the brain that controlled my speech. When they, when they became oxygen deprived, I felt the vibration. When, that when they died, my speech went south. But between the the vibrations. And the speech going south, those brain cells were still alive. Okay, here's what uh, it's a strange theory, but it's le it's le at least I'm making an attempt attempt to explain something. Maybe all you, you you people who do know what you're talking about can fill in gaps and maybe come back with something. more rational in but anyway the person the brain is getting a full supply of oxygen rich blood but the person imagining the vibrations coming down somehow his brain interprets this, interprets it as okay we're not gonna use the oxygen this blood supply is bringing to us. That's the brain interpreted it. The person ha doesn't have a clue of that of, about that. He's just thinking vibrations. Well, when the brain becomes deprived of the oxygen and it's you get those vibrations those vibrations are telling are saying I ain't get I ain't getting oxygen and when your brain becomes oxygen starved it releases dopamines those are the pleasure chemicals people who 
come this close to death, my cousin, Michael, he says when he got in the accident, accident and almost died, he said that it, it was the most wonderful feeling he ever felt. He says he was in heaven. I know he was not because you know he said he said everything was dark, dark, and it's the mo most wonderful feeling you could feel. I wish it was true, but I know it was a chemical rush of dopamine. After the brain realized that it's being deprived of oxygen, it sends out dopamine. And before the brain finally dies, it realizes, hey, why am I depriving myself of oxygen when I got a full supply of oxygen-rich blood coming my way all the time? And it starts using the oxygen and between that point and the point of the vibrations is when and with the dopamine rushes, rushes in is when you have the when the user has the out of the body experience comes out of the body you know the word ecstasy comes I think is Greek from the Greek word to be beside yourself beside, beside yourself that's literally literally what e e ecstasy means to be beside yourself so I know I've rambled on I'm not very very good at communicating when I try to say this as simply as I can can when the it, it takes mental di discipline. I tried it and I never could do it. When you focus on a point above your head through your closed eyes and are able to do so uh, until you actually are asleep, you are you are aware. Of that you're asleep, you're asleep, but you're aware, and you bring those vibrations down. What you're doing is unintentionally, unintentionally, getting your brain to to deprive itself of its own oxygen. And when that happens, dopamines are released. And that's when your out of the body experience begins. When you feel yourself floating out of your body. And when the brain realizes, hey, I could, why am I depriving myself of oxygen when I got all this oxygen rich blood here? That's when your out of the body experience ends and keep it in mind in a NDE and an OBE time is distorted so while, this, while your OBE may be taking place in the span of a few seconds your perception of time may cause you to think your OBE last, lasted for many minutes. And how can your perception of time he take three minutes? And when you're in those three minutes, you feel as if time does not exist. And when we when you come back from those three minutes of ecstasy being beside yourself literally question mark you say someone asked you how long do you think you were out and you answer man a few hours I read in a book 
what happens is your attention to detail and every minute millisecond, every minute detail becomes super focused. When uh, you're having a good time, you say, time's flying. Man, you, the day's over already? Man, it's in, it, it can be. It just started. Well, when, what, what happened is you, you, you were having such a good time, you were not, not focused, focus, focuses on everything else except having a good time. When it's ever thinks you, you're bored, time seems to lag on and on. Oh, it's only 3 o'clock? Man, this should be 5 o'clock. Because you're focused. All you, all you, you, you got nothing to do to get your mind off focusing what's going on around. Well, in your out-of-body experience, what you're doing is, when you come out of your body, or proceed to come out, uh, come out of your body, everything that's going on in the world, what's actually, what, what probably actually happened is, happening is, your subconscious level and maybe a level of and the level of consciousness beneath the subconscious is coming to the conscience level. Drugs do that. That's what. That's why people who take a LSD see pink elephants, all that crap in the lower subconsciousness and lower comes to the conscious level and your subconscious is constantly taking taking data in and processes process processing it my granddad back in 1989 said your brain processes over 10,000 thoughts a second and how long in one second and how long would it take you on this in a on a conscious level to think 10,000 thoughts a mighty long long time and and that's just it your, when your subconscious level comes to the conscious level You find yourself thinking those 10,000 thoughts one at a time because on a caution, conscious level, you think, oh, I see that coat over there. Oh, my, my aunt is out, out there cooking bacon. Uh, it takes you and you think of them on a conscious level so it, it, you're, you're, you perceive it as time linear happening, happening linearly but really what's happening is your subconscious is think, thinking these thoughts and it processes them 10,000 thoughts in one cent second, almost simultaneously, at the same time. Those two, the, those two have merged together, and your perception of time, you, you're not sure what to think. Is this moment lasting for one second or weeks? Because there's a confusion there. 
a bliss of both confusion. You, you, you're thinking does your, your subconscious is thinking those ten thousand thoughts, but it's cut because it's uh, it's been brought up to the your conscious level. Your conscious is thinking through the subconscious is these thinking these thoughts one at a time. I uh, ascribe them time, linear linearity to them when they're really are they are happening happening simultaneously and it interprets that as an as an astral trip when really the astral trip happens like that everything you everything you experience in that astral trip is and it's over but your conscious mind has 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 to interpret it and that's where your astral trip comes in